Hello, and welcome back to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name, as the shirt says, is Hobo Tom. This is not my shirt. Unfortunately, I do not have merchandise yet. Maybe one day after I get my 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 viewing hours, maybe I'll be famous enough to have a merch shop on Pro Wrestling Tees at ProWrestlingTees.com. Again, they get their free pop. Again, my name is Hobo Tom. Please do like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. You can also send an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Tomorrow, going to be another video, or probably Friday will be another video. And you're going to see this famous, well, infamous shirt at the Cultural Center here in Daytona Beach. Because NXT, NXT is coming to town. I'm kind of having dessert a little bit because I finished dinner. Well, not, well, I had dinner a long time ago. A little something to snack on. And I figure it's nice and small. I thought that was my cat. Let's talk about some Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground is consistently an entertaining show. I think when it started, it started off really slow. Now they've really picked up momentum. Their production value, they're, they have actually have production, which is a lot seeing I have all this. But again, they, they're awesome. Again, kind of starts off. Vampiro has hair now. Again, kind of starts off. Again, really only like a one minute recap. That's the best thing about the shows. Really quick recaps. Quick to the point and simple. And the one shot, Vampiro has hair. More hair than Hobo Tom. Starts off with our first match, the final Gift of the Gods medallion, or Aztec medallions for the Gift of the Gods belt. It's Paul London of the Rabbit Tribe versus newcomer Desmond X. This was actually kind of fun. It was so much fun. Again, I don't know if they have rabbit burgers, but if they did, it would have been a rabbit burger, rabbit meat cheeseburger. Because Paul London lost. Desmond X won. They said he came from some other promotion. I don't, I don't think this is Dante Fox. Looks a little bit different. Probably came from Impact. I know every soft thing do do cross promotion. They share talent a little bit. I think doesn't actually come from Impact. I think probably spent some time in Pro Wrestling Gorilla too, or Ring of Honor. I mean, they're all kind of intertwined somehow. But again, Paul London got a haircut. He looks a little more menacing. He, he he's wearing black. He's becoming a heel, Paul London. He was upset with people versus being funny, goofy Paul London. And this was a fun match. And again, you had Salvadora and, and, and Rabbit Guy. I forget what his name is. There, it's a mask with a mohawk. And I forget what his name is. Saltadora. Again, you had a lot of outside interference from the other two, and it was a fun match. Desmond Dax, let me ask you, you've never been in the temple before. How 
Does he get his wits about him? Does he understand what's going on? I think from a fighter's point of view, man, hang on, his shoulders are down here. And he's used to fighting people from all over the world under any circumstances, anywhere. So I don't really think it matters where you're going to fight them. If he's got that experience, this is just one more. I mean, for a while, there was split chance of, of let's go London, Desmond X. Let's go London, Desmond S. Or there'd be let's go Desmond, Paul London. And that was good. I mean, it was a fun, fast-paced match. Again, you see a lot of moves that you've never seen in the WWE and some other places. Again, the fact that Desmond X won, who's no one heard of before, I mean, he, he wins a match, and he's thrust into the, the kind of like the right akin to like the Money in the Bank match for Lucha Underground. Because, again, the way it works, you have to win a preliminary match. You get a medallion. And that medallion you have to put on the belt, which we'll see later. Um, that gives, gives you the, the qualified to be in the Gift of the Gods tournament. And the winner of that belt Again, with just one week notice, you can always challenge the champion whenever they want to. So, again, it should be fun. I don't see him winning it. But, I mean, just the fact that he's in it makes it interesting. So, it was a really good, fun match. Then, again, the show continues, so it was kind of quick. But, I mean, it was fun. And then you have the Gift of the Gods champions, they all come out. Cold and hard. Concrete, if you 
And what happens next is the shock is really impromptu. Over the top battle royale, which is rare. Which underground. I think when they have Aztec Warfare, it's the same principle as the Royal Rumble. Whereas you have two wrestlers start off, and then every two minutes a new wrestler comes in. But in Aztec Warfare, you get eliminated only by pinfall or submission. So it's not over the top. But this was kind of a shock. It was quick. And for the most part, it was, it was really fun. And a bunch of weird stuff happened. And again, look at this. This was a cheeseburger match. Put that away. I think that's the last time we see the cheeseburger. But again, it was really fun. And the real key behind this, I mean, again, it's a whole mix of faces and heels. You have Evil East there, so you have some intergenerate action. Son of Havoc is a true baby face, and he is really one of my favorite wrestlers in all of Lucha Underground. Oh! The lease has been eliminated. What would you do? What was this, me and you? But in there, I would hit you with a punch. I would throw you through a wall, my friend. But then I would let you go into the front. Thanks. With friends like you, who needs enemies. Mm hmm. Well, where taste hooks up Dragon Ass Tucker Jr. Dragon trying to fight out of the power bomb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is dangerous. I need to look that up while I'm editing videos. I don't see if they have a Son of Havoc shirt. That could be cool. But enough about that. I'll have to take a look at that in terms of my, my own entertainment purposes. Um, the Mac won, and with this, there was a choice that the Mac could eliminate one person, so instead of having seven, get an even number of six, and he chose to say, bye-bye, Mel Mortes, I'm not scared of any man, but you're no man. And Mel Mortes, man of a thousand deaths. 
So again, really fun, and it made sense. It's like, wouldn't you want to get the monster out of the way? Wouldn't you rather face Ivelisse, a whole bunch of Desmond X, a whole bunch of other mortals? Versus Princess and Katrina? He's not dumb. Then we had our first really, well, we had our second match. We had Johnny Mundo versus Bib Vibora. This was an amazing match. And I know there's so much wrestling out there. No one could ever really cover it all. But this was a flaming yawn match. I mean, you have the high flyer in Johnny Mundo. Again, I guess this is a larger opponent in Vibrio. You have Cobra Moon on one side with Vibrio with the Reptile Clan. The other side, you have Taya. Taya wears a tight little outfit. But again, you have the high flying Johnny Mundo. I mean, he hit like Starship paint on Cobra Moon because he got stuck up on the top rope. Vibrio was just watching him. He's like, back off, big guy. Put that beef away. Then does the starship pain all the way to the bottom. Onto Cobra Moon. Again, hit the end of the world. And only got a two count. Again, that shows Vibrio being strong. But Johnny Mundo's no slouch, though. Then, of course, there are the ref bumps, as in any Johnny Mundo match. And great false finishes. I mean, there are false finishes, but then there's, like, that really could have ended the match. And so it would have been great. I mean, just good all around. I mean, this is really a true lucha, true lucha style. And then, of course, you have the Worldwide Underground come out to help Johnny Mundo, and then the rest of the Reptile crowd to come come help Vibrio. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it was really fun. Oh, is this going to lead to a intergender tag next week? Johnny Mundo and Taya versus Vibro and Cobra Moon? Oh, here we go. Then right after the commercial break, you have Ricky Mundo and Jack something. I forget his last name. But there's a little tease of the breakup in the Worldwide Underground split. 
again, Jack doesn't like reptiles, and he he said Johnny Mundo gave him the night off. He has to avenge his embarrassing loss to pivot guy. I I forget. He was like the first one they showed, and everyone was like, "Wow!" And this led to the main event of the evening. Page versus Pentagon Dark. And again, this was an amazing match. This was a surf and turf match. It was good. Kind of how you expect this to play out. Cage using the power of brute moves. Pentagon being more calculating, more wrestling. Style from Pentagon Dark. I mean, again, once you get that clash of styles, you have a very simple story that both wrestlers can tell in the ring. And it will hurt. And you can always keep it simple. Some com and it can be complex. Like this. this Sasha Banks loves Bailey all of a sudden. Let's see how that goes. Or you can keep it really simple. Or you can make it complex, but with very simple, basic undertones. Hey, I'm the champion. You want a piece of me? You have to fight me, but I'm going to try and hurt you first. I'm the big, tough challenger. I'm not going to wait till the bell rings. I'm going to start beating you up. I want that belt. Again, <laughs> we really... And I know there are certain marks, and at some wrestling events, that there are also plants in the front row. Because for some of these matches, that front row gets destroyed. And Piero tried to make a joke. It's like, hey, I went to a wrestling match and, and, and trying to be a bowling tournament. Uh -huh. Only because Cage threw Pentagon Dark into the, the front row to so get all the chairs. And like bowling pins, yeah. Kind of bad, but... Again, Vampiro and Matt Stryker, they're really good together, though. And Cage... Again, just... He <laughs> pulled a Yano. The ref was... It's, it's a cage blasted him with a reverse kick. Again, that was classic. Um, tried to do another move on Pentagon Jr. He reversed it. And just really good action. I mean, a whole good of, of Lucha Libre style wrestling. Again, the, the finish was amazing because if you're going to be the monster... It's just not going to be one move that takes you down. It's going to be a series of moves that takes you down. So in this case, the end, it had a Lucha Destroyer, a Canadian Destroyer, and then finally a Package Pile Driver. Three finishing moves that would probably destroy any normal person. Again, that's what it took to finish off Cage. There was no arm breaking, though. Again, it was just really good. Again, Cage being the more powerful man said, no, you're not going to break my arm. And then, again, Pentagon tried to gloat over him. Cage took the belt. I said, maybe not today, but just you wait, Pentagon Dark. And there were chance of break his arm. I mean, really vicious crowd. Spun out and hits a high knee and now pump handle 
<laughs> Van Pier is awesome. And overall, really fun, exciting match. It was a good wrestling match. There was great action involved. I mean, this is good stuff. I hope I keep TV, or at least the El Rey channel. Again, you'll, you're going to see some videos of Lucha Underground, and, and the reason why I show it is because this is different from what WWE puts out. It's a whole different product. I mean, even with New Japan, New Japan's good, but I'm not paying... A, to watch like two matches that last an hour long each. I mean, it, it just gets too much. Don't get me wrong; those those hour long matches are amazing. But when it's non consequential stuff, unless you're talking about uh, Kazushika Okada versus Kenny Omega for for sixty minutes, I mean, a typical Yano match feels like twenty minutes, half hour long. And it's like, okay, well, 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 well Yano is a special person. I mean, I'll give him that. I mean, he has the comedy aspect of it. But I can get into like 20 minute, half hour long matches. I mean, depending on who's wrestling, it's, it's, it's you can say this is kind of boring. And that's a big no no to say about New Japan wrestling, but I mean, you can have half hour of Rapungi 3K and the Gucci Japan go at each other at a fast, frenetic pace, or you can just have a sluggo match between Suzuki. And whoever, and it's just a matter of who's going to, to, to get more bruises on the chest or, or take more forearms to the collarbone. So again, it, it all depends what you want. This is a pro wrestling. We could debate this forever. And there's really no wrong answer. I mean, it's all depends what, what you like. Again, tell me what you like. Please like, comment, share, and, and subscribe. Also send an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. And probably Friday... I'll get the videos up for NXT. That should be fun. I'm going to see if I can get some more pictures of myself with some wrestlers. And I have to start to build some gifts and do some other computery stuff eventually. Maybe next working. So I got a phone call and say, get back to work. But again, everyone, you have a good day. Again, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye.